The real purpose of marriage shall be revealed in the hearts of both men and women. For this revival to happen, there are two major elements in the hearts of those people. Number one is the need, number two is the possibility. Hello, good morning. My name is Dr. Studio Kuno. Welcome to another time of KC Video Devotional for 20th of September. And the topic we are looking at is how to bring revival into your marriage. There is a spirit of revival that God wants to pour forth upon his people. The spirit of revival like never before. It will cause rejoicing, real rejoicing as people will enter into the fulfillment and they will encounter God even in their marriages. God will be putting new life into our marriages. Our marriages will be what God intended it to be. Deuteronomy 32 20 says, How shall one chase a thousand and two put ten thousand to flight? Our homes shall be full of the power of the Holy Ghost. There shall be healing of every wound. Hurts and bitterness shall no longer plague our marriages. The power of darkness that is unleashed upon our marriages shall be shattered. Young men and women who are held bound by the devil and his courts shall be banished. Young men and women who are held bound by the devil will be made free. Our homes and marriages shall be what is in the heart of God. This shall be accomplished by the Spirit of God. There shall be the influence of the Spirit of God on our homes. Our homes and marriages shall be a cradle of revival. Husbands shall be priests indeed, and their wives their co-priests. There shall be fresh fire and fresh grace. God's people shall be anointed with a new spirit of love, a selfless love. Husbands shall love their wives just as Christ loves the church and gave himself for it. The wives shall be supportive and submissive. The real purpose of marriage shall be revealed in the hearts of both men and women. For this revival to happen, there are two major elements in the hearts of God's people. Number one is the need. Number two is the possibility. There has to be the need for this revival in our marriages and home. The need for the power of God to flood our homes. We must see ourselves as being in need of God's power. There has to be a thirst and hunger for this revival. No man can love his wife without the help of the Holy Spirit. God is love. And it takes him pouring himself into our hearts for there to be revival. Number two, the possibility has to be in our hearts that God wants to revive our marriages. God is ready and is willing to do a new thing in our homes. It is already kindled and will burn like wildfire. May our marriages not be missing in this revival. God is the author of it, but we have to cooperate with his spirit. May God open our eyes more to see this season that we are in. God bless our marriage. Meditation for the day, Isaiah 43 and verse 19. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Prayer for the day, number one, fire of the living God. Consume everything that seeks to slow down my marriage in the name of Jesus. Number two, Father, in the name of Jesus, I paralyze the activity of the spirit of fear over my life. Prayer number three, Lord, revive my marriage. Let's take this confession together. The life of God is at work in my marriage. The spirit of revival is poured out afresh on my marriage. It causes rejoicing. I will encounter God in my marriage. God is putting new life into my marriage. My marriage becomes what God intends it to be. One will chase a thousand. Two will put ten thousand to flight. We are productive. My home is full of the power of the Holy Ghost. Hurts, bitterness, and offenses have no place in my marriage. My home is a cradle of revival. I love my wife as Christ loved the church. I submit to my husband as unto the Lord. My marriage is blessed. Action plan for the day, begin to consciously create a thirst and hunger for this revival. Chronological Bible reading for today, Nehemiah 8, 13 to 18, and Nehemiah 9 to 10. Today's devotional is taken from 
uh, the book, Couples Devotional Book for the month of September. And this book is available as paperback and Kindle edition on Amazon. And it's also available on Okada Books in digital form. To get the books is very simple. Just navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kissesandox.com slash books. Also, we want you to partner with us on Kisses and Us Club. It will enable us to do more in God's kingdom. In order to do that, kindly go to the URL you see on the screen at kissesandox.com slash give. Uh, if you live in the city of Ibadan and you don't have a place of worship yet, We'd like to receive you at Sharks of Grace Center at Joker Plaza, beside Trans Amusement Park, Bodija, UI Road, in the city of Ipado. Our devotional website is at kissesandox.com. Kindly visit. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.